enzymes accelerate reactions by decreasing the free energy of activation, delta G dagger. The catalytic power of enzymes comes from bringing together the substrates and the active sites of enzymes in a favorable orientation to promote the formation of the enzyme substrate complex. In the late 1800s, the lock and key mechanism was proposed. This is that the shape of the substrate is similar to the shape of the active site to get in close contact. Since proteins are flexible, in 1958, a more acceptable mechanism was proposed, and that is the induced fit. This is that the shape of the substrate is different than the shape of the active site. When the active site of the enzyme and a substrate get in close proximity, there is a transformation, a conformational change in the active site of the enzyme to make molecular interaction via hydrogen bonds, salt bridges, or hydrophobic interaction to produce the enzyme substrate complex that decreases the activation energy. The flexible active site changes in shape to best fit the substrate and catalyze the reaction. A chemical reaction of substrate to form product goes through the formation of a transition state that has a higher free energy than the substrate or the product. That is, this is the energy of the substrate, this is the energy of the product, the energy of the transition state is where bonds are being formed and the bonds of the substrate are breaking. Note that the difference in energy between the substrate and products is the same with enzyme and without enzyme. The value does not change. What changes is the rate of the formation of the product. How fast is the product forming? The energy difference is the same, but it takes a lot less time to form the product when there is a use of an enzyme. We can say that enzymes facilitate the formation of the transition state. An enzyme does not affect the equilibrium point of a reaction and cannot bring about a reaction that is energetically unfavorable. A reaction that has a delta G negative, like this one, is spontaneous. A reaction with a positive delta G is unfavorable. An enzyme cannot make an unfavorable reaction to become spontaneous. If A becomes B by the action of an enzyme, B cannot become A because the enzyme cannot change the direction of the reaction. When the catalytic groups interact with the substrate, they transform the shape of the substrate, making a molecule that is less stable, which is easier to break bonds. In the transition state, the substrate is in preparation to break bonds and the product is in preparation for formation. To understand how enzymes lower the energy of the transition state, we need to have clear understanding of the non-covalent interactions that were used in the formation of the tertiary structure and the quaternary structure of proteins. That includes hydrogen bonds between substrate and the active site, also nonpolar interaction between hydrophobic amino acids and the substrates, and the formation of salt bridges between 
positively charged side chain of amino acids with negatively charged or positively charged part of the substrate with negatively charged parts of the active site.